Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. In the last episode we got stuck uh, down here and realized it's going to be a lot longer of a journey to the water vein than we thought. Because uh, somebody had to throw us down here all the way down. Oh, there's a thing to go to over there too. Just keep that in mind whenever we get back up. But now we just need to pick up one more uh, stone. Whoops. And then we'll be able to access our new ability that will hopefully aid us in our quest of... What? Ow. Ah, man, these things. Hopefully aid us in our quest of... Getting through... The rest of the Moon Grotto. It's a pretty nice name, Moon Grotto. You are a jerk. Ah, Iron Manning probably wasn't the best idea, but oh well. No, stop! Oh, you... I want that experience. So better not to spawn. Alright. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. Oh, wait. Do you actually respawn here? Oh, that's cool. I want my stuff. I respawn with one health, too. That's great. That's really great. Dude, that's kind of cruel. Uh, it doesn't look like I can go left while I spawn, either. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. So I can at least do that. That gives you another checkpoint. Could I stop doing that? I don't have any abilities for picking up another one, actually. If I could avoid this first hit, it would be really nice. Why am I... I always assume for some reason that he's gonna shoot where I am instead of where I'm going to be. So I run forwards. Okay, there. Spiky bits. Looks like you can go on the end. Never mind. I can take it. I mean, I just don't have enough strength to hit on any of those points. That reminds me of the round seven boss and blinks. Oops. I did not like that. Ha! I can do that, apparently. Although that probably won't actually affect his health. That's mine, though. Although I'm still a one-hit kill at this point, anyways. Yeah! At least I can make up for the lost experience a little bit. Okay, so I've heard that there's a bug with these purple doors, actually. Basically, if you save... Uh, Alright, so let's pick this up and save. Basically, if you save... If you open up a purple door, then save before going through it, and then die uh, without going through and getting whatever's inside and saving again, uh, from what I hear, it'll actually be stuck closed forever. I came across someone saying that when I was... Uh, When I was looking into that whole falling to the floor thing that happened a couple, episodes, a couple of episodes ago. Very unfortunate. Oh, darn it. Uh, I suppose those energy crystals aren't up here anymore either. Oh yeah, they are. Cool. In that case... Since we have the keys, we can head on up. And if we head on up, we'll be able to get our new ability. How exciting. I am excited, at least, because that means so many new places I can explore. Even though that's kind of overwhelming sometimes. Just barely can't reach that thing up there. 
to do a wall jump on. Okay. Yay! Speed running tactics. Okay. No, I'm not gonna get used to my surprise this time. God, I still hate how big their range is, but whatever. Hello! I've never have managed to get up there. There's apparently something up there. At least a passageway. Nothing's marking the map for going up there. Oh, I accidentally opened this. Alright. Hmm. Why would you do this game? I think it's so perilous to get this one line energy crystal. But that also means being an ability point. Cool. Which also means a full heal. Might as well make a checkpoint right here anyway, since I there's a decent chance I'll end up dying from it. So life efficiency. Uh that takes two ability points, and so does this. So if I want to get something right now, I can get life efficiency, which it looks like I might need anyways. The next things are soul income healing more. And then Hmm. Increased damage would be really cool. I'm not sure what bashing through enemies really means. But it sounds nice. Well, I probably should take this up right now anyways. And since I'm kind of, whoops, looking into 100% in the game at the moment, that seem, seems like, like that's what I'll be doing. The idea of getting all of the... This is a nice, relatively peaceful place. The idea of actually getting all of the... And now there's poison. Upgrades at some point or another doesn't sound too reasonable to me. So I'm kind of okay with postponing that for now. Or while uh, not actively pursuing one tree. You're stuck. Wonderful. Too much. And even if, even though I know balancing it will probably mean not really getting to the end of any of the trees too quickly, it'll, or possibly at all. I'll probably do that at some point anyways, just in collecting everything in the game. Leiru. I had a feeling that was what that ability was. Well. Oh, that's what I learned. Okay, that was actually what I was expecting. But I was talking again earlier, well, like a couple episodes ago, a while ago at this point, about how I did want to double jump. Like, that's just weird, actually. How I put, I make a little thing appear on the ground. Not on the ground, but below me. I do that. Oh, come on. Don't jump well, please. I can live with it though. It seems like such a standard thing for Metroidvanias to have you learn double jumping. Anyhow. Hello. Now we have that learnt. Okay, I should probably actually make a soul link here. Now we have that learnt. That means a lot. Ah, come on. I can do a double jump after getting hurt, too. That's cool. I just did a really weird, like, run after... That was weird. I actually did a run after jumping. And I'm kind of bummed, though. I'll have to actually get two levels for every ability of the ability now. Because I did quite like getting those often. I can be patient. So now I can go up here, too. Wait. I said I can be patient. Alright. Now with that out of the way. Oh, I'm kind of wondering if there's like some faster way I can whoops, jump up walls now that I have... Oh, come on. Now that I have a double jump. 
That doesn't seem like it actually helps my jump, my uh, ascension at all. Too much of any way. Everything seems to do two damage now. It's kind of annoying. Come on, come down here. There you go. Okay, so. Since it worked out so badly last time, let's make a soul like this here. I see it looks like there's... I'd imagine you could go up there, but... Or maybe it's just a quick way around the other way. I don't really see there being any reason to come back through here, though. So I don't see much of a reason for... creating a quick way of passage past this section. I don't see why there would even need to be a quick way of passage through this section anyways. Even if did have a reason to go back. So I'm curious. Ha! Ah, that would be why. And I'm going to be able to get through these uh, energy doors really easily. That is true. Oh, wait, please. Oh, what? Still another one. Meh. And I'm there again? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but sure. So then... I don't have any reason to go down, do I? So with this, I know I can go up. It looks like... I don't know if I can reach that overhang, but I can get some experience now. By going up here. I don't know if I can do anything from there. Go on, Ori! Yeah, I can do that at least. Man. Alright. Boom. So is the entirety of the bottom portion of this area covered in spikes? It looks like it is. Doesn't really look like there's much for you to be doing going up there either. But I don't see how I even could. So, hello. I haven't really looked into how much like charge flame actually does in terms of damage. I should probably try that out at some point. Although I find that I'm lacking in energy a bit more often, too much, or a bit too often already. So maybe I shouldn't really jump into that. Man, there's a lot to do here. Uh, which way would I want to go? I, it looks like if I want to go up, like get out of Moon Grotto, I want to go to the left. This place goes deeper down the rabbit hole. Of course, that's what I would want if I want to get everything done in one trip. Whoops! Oh. Hoping I'm not really going to need that. That's how much damage that does. That's quite a bit. So that's useful, but it's kind of appropriate for how much damage it, for how much uh, I have to pay for it too. Oh uh, well, no, it only uses half of a energy bit, not entire thing. I forgot about that, but still, huh? Might I'm not sure how I would actually get through that part on the left if I was to go down there. What do I do with this? Uh, can I push it off the ledge? Whoa! Okay. I can take it. That's what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. But, that'll kill me, won't it? Oh hey, I'm actually suddenly capable of platforming. Cool! Feels awesome. So if I jump down here, whoop, it's not capable of looking in front of me. So it doesn't look like I can do anything down here just yet, though. Or maybe I can. Awesome. 
Yeah, this double jump is a lot more useful than I thought it was. They should probably make some kind of a... Uh, just be mean. They could probably make some kind of collectible that you can easily collect without dying or anything like that, but if you try to get out with it, you end up dying. Oh, come on, whoops. I don't have enough energy on me right now. Uh, I can some energy right there. Whoops. I think I hadn't made that jump. Also, health. That'd be cool. More experience, that's cool too. Uh, I'm not sure how much... Oh, I can't remember. I seem to get more and more from these crystals as time goes on. Oh no. Some of them give two, some give one. I think I'm starting to recognize which ones give which, though. Just everything in this game is so small. I'm playing this on a nice widescreen TV, and still I'm only seeing so much. And the problem isn't being able to hold enough energy to get through these things, it's actually having enough energy on me at once. I want to go through this thing, but I need to find some more energy first. Energy, please. Hi. I don't think killing things usually gives you energy. I haven't noticed that at least. I don't know why. My ability to just notice things at all in this game has dipped. As compared to how I normally am in other games. I don't know why. If I have to, I can go off to the right and then come back down here. Or, if I, or I can go to the left and then come back. Just see if I can find anything. I'm not really sure either way, so... Once this goes the other... But this one will probably require me to make making checkpoints and using energy too, so... Wait yeah, a minute. Am I even capable of doing that? Ah, I totally am. Barely, it looks like. Can't redirect, redirect your momentum very well, but you can. Uh, oh, this thing respawns though. I knew these things respawn, and you have to go too far away from them to do that. I uh, can't tell if it's distance or time, or maybe both. But I was kind of assuming that I wasn't going far enough away for that to respawn or do whatever it does. But I was wrong. This thing also seems to apply to this enemy here and that experience there. Cool. I still don't see this thing. So I'm here in the top right earlier, just a moment ago. I don't know what it was. It looks hazardous though. Anyways, that's a lot of energy that takes. So you can see that that, that you block the laser with your with your uh. Yeah, and you can see that you block the laser with that block if you go to the right. But if you don't have another block in place to keep that laser block, you'll just get killed when you push this thing down the ledge. So now if I do this, I can go two ways, can't I? No, I cannot. Okay. So there's more to do down here. It looks like I can do everything down here right now, which is nice. Well, I don't have any way of... Oh man, I wish I actually had some way of making a checkpoint right now. So which way do I want to go first? Left provides the return trip, so I should go right. Am I not actually able to go up there? Weird if so. I'll see how I could. Because it's really just a solid ceiling. Alright, no. Well, is it? I, mean, it doesn't I don't know if that's something I can break through with the charge shot or not. I don't think it is. If I have to, though, I can probably try if I go up and get that blue crystal again. Puzzles! This game has everything I like in it. It's awesome. I could have gone through there earlier, whatever. Difficulty, little puzzle bits. 
cute things. Wonderful atmosphere. Interesting story as well. I'm loving this game so far. I'm sad that it looks like this episode's gonna have to come to a close soon, too. Feels like I have so much more stuff to be doing right now. Alright, so I can save here again. Now that I actually have more energy. I can see if. I can actually. Whoop. Break through this. Awesome. For more energy! Awesome. And... Whoa. Because that gave me a refill on my energy as well, I can do that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm very happy to have taken this detour as long as it took. Because that was something that... Oh, just had to spend more time going after later. Thank you, laser. Very kind of you to be considerate enough to stop trying to kill me. Now, if I just return to the main path, and we can, uh... Oh man, this laser's gone, or that crystal's gone, I'm still. Now I can just return to the main path, and that's where we will start off next episode. And that's a big detour. Everything seems to be taking... It's not exactly that everything seems to be taking forever in this game, it's just that everything in this game seems to... Man, so much death water! It's that everything in this game seems to, uh... In some way or another result in me. Man, I want more experience. Everything in this game seems to, in one way or another... No. Taking a lot of episode time. It feels more like the episode time is short, though, than everything else is long in the game. Possibility point. So, I don't think I'm going to be spending this, this episode, but... Oh, I only need one ability point for that? Huh. What's the next one? Ooh. So, I'll make that choice next episode as well. Do I want Ultra Soul Link, which would be very useful. It's kind of obvious I've been lacking in health this entire time. That's not too special, but and it leaves me unable to buy anything else, even though I have one more ability point. I should get that at some point anyways. I don't have to worry about that issue like I encountered earlier when I uh, got stuck in a boss fight and didn't get to get my experience that I wanted to get earlier because I got locked out, or locked in the room rather. This better damage. Hmm. Alright, you need bash and split. Oh, you need an ability that I don't think I have just yet for that, actually. This one I can get, so I don't, am I going to get Ultra Soul Link or Ultra Spirit Man in the next episode? That's something I'll decide then. So I'll see you guys next time, next episode of Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest, where I will make that decision, I guess. And, well. Ah. <sighs> Have more fun with this game. I want to keep playing this game longer tonight, but I can't, sadly. Ah, uh, oh well. Such is life. See you then, guys. Bye. Hope you guys enjoy it half as much as I do, because I'm loving this. This game has everything I like, just about. Bye, guys.